Well, hey there, folks. Bill O'Leary um, coming to you in this video where I'm going to be answering the question of how uh, you can use an irrevocable trust for Medicaid planning. So in this video, you're going to learn three things. Number one, uh, how Medicaid can pay for long-term care. Number two, what the five-year look back is that many people have, have heard about. And number three, why gifting assets um, into an irrevocable Medicaid trust instead of just as an outright gift um, is such a better solution. Quick introduction. Again, my name is Bill O'Leary, and I am an estate planning and elder law attorney and do a lot of probate and trust administration work. Uh, my firm is Legacy Planning Law Group in Jacksonville, Florida. So let's jump right in. So look, as we age, no surprise, there's going to be a greater likelihood of needing to spend time in a long-term care facility. And by the way, what the statistics show for those over age 65, there's a 75% chance, believe it or not, that, that you're not going to be able to live alone for the rest of your life. Long-term care will be needed and it's quite expensive. So there are basically three ways to pay for long-term care. One is if you happen to have long-term care insurance. Great solution. Most people don't have it. So it's usually not a viable alternative. Number two, uh, using up your assets or uh, worse yet with some embarrassment asking your kids to chip in um, and I like to call that burning through the family treasure or alternative number three is getting some government help from Medicaid so when you apply for Medicaid you've got to tell them uh, about in certain important things number one your health situation I won't focus on that you also have to tell them about your financial situation and when it comes to finances Medicaid wants to know two things your income and your assets, and you can't have too much uh, of either, okay? Now, in this video, I'm not going to focus so much on how to protect your income and your assets from the government. That is a topic for another video. Instead, I want to focus on another issue, which is uh, something else that you have to tell Medicaid when you come to apply. Very important. You have to tell them whether you've given away any assets during the prior five-year period, what's called the five-year look back. And if you have given away any asset, it's going to tr trigger a consequence. It's a, what we call the Medicaid penalty, which is a period of time that you will not be eligible, and yet you're going to have to pay your own way. And then once you serve out your penalty, Medicaid will kick in. So let's say you have adult kids. You've got a great relationship with them. and They do anything for you. And you also know the very sobering statistics of how many of us are going to need long-term care at some point. And you don't want to have to spend all of your assets, again, the family treasure on some nameless, faceless, you know, uh, institutional facility. And at the end of the day, have nothing to show for it, have no legacy to leave to your kids. You don't want that. You want to give some of your assets to your kids now and start that five-year clock, turn it on. Again, let's assume you have a great relationship with your kids uh, and they will gladly safeguard the gifted assets for your benefit. But does it make sense just to make an outright gift to the kids? No, it is much, much better to transfer them into a special kind of irrevocable Medicaid trust. Your kids will be in control of this trust. Okay, they'll be the trustee and typically the sole beneficiaries. You can't be either. You can't have any strings attached. But again, this works well in a situation where, you know, great relationship with the kids. Uh, they love you and they'll do anything for you. And they will make sure that the trust is there to indirectly benefit you. Now, why transfer the gifted assets into an irrevocable Medicaid trust? Again, uh, rather than just making an outright gift, because there are a number of benefits to a trust uh, that are available that uh, are not available with an outright gift. And here are some of the benefits real quick. Number one, the assets that are put into this trust are, are much better protected for your kids from their potential creditors. Well, what, what might a creditor be? I'm not thinking so much about not paying your credit card bill. Think they get into a divorce, okay? Uh, and now have to you know uh, share some of their assets with their ex-spouse or they get into a car accident. Those are creditors. If you make an outright gift, the gifted assets will be at risk to your kids' creditors and predators, as we like to call them. Uh, second benefit of putting the assets into a trust, if you transfer your home into a trust, which is uh, commonly done, 
the tax break that you get right now, if you sell the, the house, that tax break will continue for your kids. And if they later sell the house, most or possibly all of the gain that's realized on that sale will not be taxed. So um, if on the other hand, you just give that house directly to your kids, instead of putting it into a trust, your kids will lose that important tax break. Uh, number three, any assets you transfer into the trust will get what's called a step up in basis at your death. Meaning if your kids sell the asset after you die, any capital gains that might have to be paid will be uh, reduced, if not entirely eliminated. If on the other hand, you transfer the assets directly to the kids, they will lose that basis, step up, and will have to pay a lot more in taxes when the assets are later sold. Final benefit of putting the assets into a trust rather than an outright gift, you have more control uh, over who will get the gifted assets after your kids die. If you don't have a trust, you lose that control. So if you'd like to know a little bit more about how an irrevocable trust is used in Medicaid planning and maybe how we can help, we'd love to talk to you. So we invite you to take a really sort of simple baby step to start the process, schedule a free 15-minute discovery phone call uh, where you can tell us what's on your mind. Scheduling is very easy. Just go to the link at the bottom of this video and uh, click on it, take you right to our booking calendar, pick a day and time that works for you. And again, um, uh, we'll tell you if we can help you. Uh, if you've uh, enjoyed this video, we'd ask that you like it, better yet share it. And, and if you have not already done so, do subscribe to our YouTube channel, Legacy Planning Law Group. So until we talk again, Bill O'Leary, go make it a great day and a better world.